We start by importing injectable from Angular Core, which allows us to define a service. We then import necessary interfaces and types from Angular's common HTTP module for interception purposes. HTTP interceptor, HTTP request, HTTP handler, and HTTP event, alongside observable from RxJS for handling asynchronous tasks. The core's interceptor class is marked with injectable to denote that it can be injected as a dependency. It implements the HTTP interceptor interface, which allows us to intercept and modify HTTP requests. Inside the core's interceptor class, we define the intercept method, which clones the incoming HTTP request to modify it. It incorrectly attempts to set the access control allow origin header directly on the request. This illustrates a common misconception. Such headers are actually controlled by the server, not the client. After cloning and wrongly modifying the request, the method proceeds to pass it to the next handler in the chain by calling next handle with the cloned request. Now, let's see how to configure the interceptor within an Angular module, for instance, app module TS. First, we import HTTP client module, which is necessary to work with HTTP in Angular and HTTP underscore interceptors, which is an injection token that allows us to provide additional HTTP interceptor instances. We also import the core's interceptor we just defined. Within the at ing module decorator, we add an entry to the provider's array. Here, we provide our core's interceptor to the HTTP underscore interceptors token. We set multi to true which specifies that multiple interceptors can be bound to the HTTP underscore interceptors token. Finally, the app module is bootstrapped with app component, making the core's interceptor part of our application's provider array and intercepting HTTP calls app-wide.